how to use the SCOM Alert Update Connector Pro. As you can see here, we have the SCOM console and the SCOM Alert Update Connector Pro has already processed all the alerts. So what we want to do is pick out a couple key monitors or rules that we're going to ticket on. So in this case, we're going to ticket on health service heartbeat failure, as we know this is when a server is down. What we need to find out is what is the name of the monitor or rule that is creating this alert. If we look down here in the details, we can see here, here is the name of it. In this case, it's the same, but it's not always the same. So once we have the name, now we go to the SCOM alert update connector and search for this particular alert. Here it is, the very first one, health service heartbeat failure. So let's click on that and then let's choose new. And we're going to choose resolution state of sent to connector. In this case, we're also going to pick out a group because we want certain alerts to be ticketed on differently. Alerts coming from the DBA team, we want them to be sent over to ServiceNow and we want them to show up in the DBA queue. Alerts coming from the SharePoint team, we want those, those ones to come over and go over to ServiceNow, but we want those ones to show up in the SharePoint queue. So in this case, we're going to pick the group. I already have a group created called Ops Manager DBA Team Group. So I select that and I click Create. Now I'm going to create another workflow and in this case I'm going to choose custom field 5 and then I'm going to pick my group which is the same group again but in this case I'm going to put in custom field 5 the name of the queue in ServiceNow that I want the actual alert to go to. So let's go over to ServiceNow and take a look. So you can see here I have an assignment group and I want it to be go to my Ops Manager DBA team. So if, let's click on this incident once. And we can see here, here's my assignment group, Ops Manager DBA team. I'm going to get the name of that particular queue, and I'm going to paste that here in custom field 5, and I'm going to click Create. Okay, so now we have our first set of workflows set up for our DBA team. But we also want to send health service heart heartbeat failures to my SharePoint team as well. But I only want to send the alerts from the SharePoint group to my SharePoint ticketing queue. So I click New, and I'm going to say Resolution State, Send to Connector, and I'm going to choose my SharePoint group, and click Create. And now I'm going to create another one for Custom Field 5. I'm going to put my SharePoint team. This is what I'm getting from ServiceNow. Ops Manager SharePoint Team Group. So this is, this, this is the name of the queue that I want to send it to in ServiceNow. So you see Assignment Group, Ops Manager, SharePoint Team. When I bring these alerts over for Custom Field 5, I'm going to populate the queue name. So I click Create. Okay, now I have everything all set up. And we'll go ahead and go back over to SCOM. I'm going to set all the alerts back to a new resolution state. And this is going to simulate what a, a new alert coming in. So we'll be able to watch the SCOM Alert Update Connector process each of these alerts. And it's going to pick out the ones that are in the groups for health service heartbeat failure. And it's going to change the resolution state to send to connector. And we can see over here that it's being sent to the SCOM Alert Update Connector Pro connector. And then once it's processed, we'll see it leave this connector and the resolution state will show up as send to connector. Okay, so we can see here the SCOM Alert Update Connector Pros ran and it picked out our two SQL servers, these two SQL servers here, and also a SharePoint server and sent those to the connector. It didn't touch the other ones because they didn't match any of the groups that, that we had selected. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a PowerShell script that will go through, and this is going to simulate what your connector would do if you had it set up for ServiceNow or Netcool or some other tool. And I'm going to say, only give me the alerts with a 252 resolution state. So if I go back over to SCOM and under administration, and I look at my settings and alerts, I can see here send the connector is 252. So in my PowerShell script here, I'm going to say, give me all the alerts with this 252. 
and then I'm going to go and I'm actually going to send these to ServiceNow. And you can see here, here's my, the description is going to be the alert name. But the, the neat thing is here is the assignment group custom field five, which is going to be the one that matches the assignment group in ServiceNow. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. Okay, you can see here that it's actually sent these alerts over to ServiceNow. And now if I go over to ServiceNow and I refresh these, refresh this page here. I'm going to see here, look, if we look at the date uh, on the 28th, right? So these two were just processed at, um, well, 9.51, which is um, the time zone's different, but it's the same. So now if I drill down in, We can see here, here's my alert. It's been sent over. It's a sign of the SharePoint team. And now the SharePoint team is ready to work with this particular alert. And if I look at this one here, there's one coming from my DBA team, right? This is my database server, and it's sent directly to my database team. And then we also have this one here. So we, we brought over three alerts just recently. So the power in this tool is to be able to really filter the alerts before they get to your ticketing system, and then also be able to, being able to um, inject some custom data into the custom fields, and then have the ticketing system pick that up and know what to do with it, right? So instead of having the ticketing system have all these really complex rules and ways to figure out where the server belongs to and what queue it is, we are pre-populating that data from SCOM before we send it over.